even when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous, uh I know that I YouTube, good job boys and girls We back with another video, man, today Y'all see the title, Hall Family Y'all see what we got We got Miss Britt Cooper And, um, as y'all know, good lord Like, how, like, who have we all reacted to at this point Who's, uh been who who's reacted to uh Ben and Tom uh rap. So we we reacted to Michael, we reacted to Ben reacting to um like other people react to it. Um and now we're doing uh Brick. For one, I didn't even know she reacted to it. And then some of y'all like told me that she did because y'all know we did that Ben and um Brett video and I was like, oh y'all who is Brett? So I assume that you know, that's where some of y'all came from. Y'all like, Chris, did you know Britt reacted to it too? I was like, oh, shoot, really? Well, let's, let's see it together. So I'm really curious to see what Britt had to say about it. So, uh, yeah, without further freaking do, Hall family, let's get right to it. On section, I'm Britt Cooper. So I've already filmed my two episodes for today, but I'm coming at you with some bonus content because wow. Ben Shapiro dropped something literally five minutes ago, five minutes prior to filming this. So we just have to discuss, we have to react to. Before we do though, you guys know the drill. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already and ring that notification bell. So, that so yeah, what I'm getting about um, the Daily Wire. So what I'm, I'm assuming is, so I think it's Ben, then it's Brett, and I think Candace is there too. And I'm assuming they all like work together. I think they all work together. Well, Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I, I think I believe so. And they got like a whole little crew behind them too. So they got like a little like big, big little group. So which makes sense because he edits like the they're, they're top tier. But anywho. You never miss a comment section upload because you never know when surprise things like this will drop. Okay, so all week, Ben has been dropping hints about a new collaboration that he did. Granted, this has just been a mm. big week for Ben. He interviewed Elon twice. He dropped a new documentary about the oh, border. Shoot. It's just been a big Ben week. Oh, shoot. And then he went to, uh, he, he had Elon Musk. Oh, Lord, I wonder how that went. But the thing that I've been most excited about is this collaboration because I heard about it and I was like, this cannot be real. Oh, baby. It is very, very real. So it all started a while ago when Ben interviewed Tom McDonald, who is a very famous independent rapper. He's a big right wing rapper. Just listen to what he said. Tom McDonald, you've seen his videos, you've heard his songs. The media made millions off the protests for George Floyd. I've been called the Ben Shapiro of rap many times. Obviously, <laughs> I had my uh, amazing recording of WAF. I still did not see. I, I still have not listened to that yet, y'all. I, I forgot y'all told me Ben did that. I definitely hadn't listened to it yet. Uh, should, I, should I? I might give it a listen. Um, I just have to pause. One of my favorite things about Ben is that he leans into the fact that people make fun of him for this. He's like, no, I want to talk about rap culture. I want to talk about, like, you know, this is degenerate behavior. Let me read you some of these lyrics. People make fun of him for it. And he's like, what about it? My version slaps significantly harder than the Cardi B version. It was perfect. <laughs> Perfect. There, there have been calls for us to collaborate. I will say that my my rap skill, I feel it's an untapped field for me. I don't know, if, if the crowd wants it, then perhaps I'll be forced to solicit your help in uh, in joining the, the rap industry, is it called? I don't even know what it's called. If there is untapped potential here, if there's a fire burning somewhere deep inside your soul that's making you want to spit some super hot bars with me, <laughs> I'm down. Let's make it happen. Perhaps. So so this conversation must have happened like before like the song came out. So they were like, it, like they were talking about it for a minute. Wow. Okay. You will make that happen sometime in the future to the consternation of both my audience and your own. They made it happen. And it just dropped five minutes ago. We're going to watch it right now. This is Ben's collaboration mm -hmm. with Tom McDonald. People on Twitter are pissed that Ben Shapiro would do this. People on Instagram and YouTube, they're more in on the fun. You know Daily Wire. We love to troll people. Ben is absolutely trolling people. Oh, yeah. By the way, y'all, the song's still, I think it's still at number one, too, by the way. I think. I think it is. They call me offensive, controversial. It's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope. It's pathetic. Pro choice pronouns, pro love, you're progressive. But you ain't pro gun, no one to protect it. Where the American flag said. Remember when people would hang those. They've been taken down, they all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. The same rap, the same money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling 
drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing my guns, ain't promoting stripper pole. Yo, I never get tired of hearing this song. Like, I swear, I, I swear to God, I never get tired of hearing this song. Like, I never get tired of hearing it. Like, oh my goodness. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters Look at her face. Oh. I don't care if I offend you. Defense. I was playing to oh. upset you. You can cry and you can scream. You can ride in the streets. You defunded the police. Now there's no one to protect you. Need a shirt with what would Ben do on it? If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo. My pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yamaka. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karens. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. And I love, I love Brett's reaction to it. I love her reaction to it. She's just so giggly and happy about it. Like... I love this, y'all. I, I just love seeing everybody else reaction to it because, like, it seemed like everybody had the same reaction I did to it. Like, just about. Like, everybody was shocked, just like me. So, this is this is just so dope, y'all. I hopefully in the future, y'all let we, let's pray on it. Like, hopefully in the future, Tom and Ben just come out with another surprise song. Like, not really tell anybody and leave it behind closed doors and just. Surprise everybody again, like some someday this year along the lines. Like I don't know when, but some someday this year to just shock everybody again. I would love that. I would love that. That would be so fun. This ain't money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs. We ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns. Ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into That's holes. the best line. I don't care if I offend you. I was playing to Honestly, like, you. <laughs> it's such a sick rap. You can cry and you can scream. You can ride in the streets. You defunded the police. Now there's no one to protect you. I'll buy a fan. Okay, I took the pause. That little clip of Ben back there, like, singing along. God, it's so <laughs> I asked myself, what would Ben do? Let's just keep it real facts. Don't care how you feel, man. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect you. You mad, you mad, you mad. I guess it's cool to be the victim. Well, I'ma be the man. You sad, you sad, you sad. You just try to get attention, being triggered's all you have. True. You mad, you mad, yep. you mad. You blame everybody else for every problem that you can. You sad, you sad, you sad. I will never say I'm sorry, I ain't taking nothing back. Like, nobody would have assumed that Ben would be featured on a rap song. When I was told about this, I, I genuinely thought it was a joke. Also, I had seen this video before, so this is my uh, reaction after the fact. But if you want to see somebody that had no idea this was coming, Michael Knowles. He reacts to every single new Tom McDonald song. I saw it. He loved his reaction to it, too. We, we, we react to it together, y'all. Loved his reaction. His producers put this in front of him, did not tell him that Ben was featured, and it is worth the watch because he literally had no clue. Stop it. No. Also, you guys don't often get to see this side of Ben. You might have seen it a little bit in my vlog with him, but he <laughs> is so smiley. He's so down to earth. He's very goofy. He's very funny. We had a great time running around Miami together, so I think a lot of people will look at this and think, like, oh, this is, you know, cringe, or it's so weird. Like, I guarantee he had the best time doing this and was laughing the entire time. Was so, y'all, um, yeah, I've been meaning to ask about, so do Brit and Ben, like, what kind of, like, what kind of relationship they are, like, I'm, I'm assuming they just, like, obviously friends, I think. Oh, wait, no, never mind, never mind, no, no, no. Because I think some of y'all told me Ben is married with kids, and then Brit, she, I think she's in a relationship too, so... I guess they just really close co-workers, I'm assuming. Because it really seems like Ben and uh, Brett, they have like a really like close relationship. Well, friendship from what it seems like. So, yeah, I've, I've just been curious. But, yeah, now, now I'm thinking about it. Y'all did say, so both of them in relationships. But, okay. 
Okay, never mind. Not like coerced into doing it. He probably thought that this was like the most hysterical thing that's ever happened. So just know that because that is like my personal favorite side of Ben as somebody who knows him. I think it's fantastic. Tom McDonald is exceptional. He's a great rapper. I don't even really love rap music, but his lyrics are fantastic. He seems like a great person. I'm in favor of the whole damn thing. It is such an epic troll and I love it. All right, so I want to read some comments from you guys, but this literally just dropped. Like I said at the beginning, 10 minutes ago at this point, <laughs> it dropped. So we don't have a ton of comments and I wanted to make sure that you guys got this video over the weekend so I didn't want to wait until Monday. But we do have some. My team has pulled some while I was watching that. Somebody said, oh my God, this hit harder than I expected. The fact that Ben didn't break his normal posture or lose his composure, love it. Like Ben was exactly <laughs> how I imagined he'd be. He didn't act like a rapper. He just kept it Ben. Don't keep it for real. Just keep it Ben. Somebody said, I straight up need Ben's hoodie. Where can I buy it? Oh, link below if you're interested. <laughs> Somebody said, let's get Ben a number one on Billboard, we could do it, let's go. That would be like the most insane troll. And they actually did it, which is crazy. Like literally Ben said, let's get a Billboard number one, y'all. And then some people in the comments say, let's do it. And it actually happened. Like who would have, like, I, I, like, it was such a shock to like see the song like just skyrocket like how it did. But to surpass so many, like, uh, well-established artists in the music industry. Like, look, y'all see his right there, number four. I told y'all, Megan and Nicki were having their beef. And they were, like, dominating, like, the music, like, charts and stuff. But they dissed to towards each other. And for Tom and Ben to just over, like, just overthrow that, like, all of that. Like, that, that is insane, y'all. Like, I'm still in shock about that. About that. <laughs> Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like this, so my pockets are fat. So we said this man proved that he could literally feature anyone and still make a banger. Don't like the tone of that. Adding Ben only made it better in my... <laughs> Somebody mm. said, I've never heard Ben speak so slow. I love this. I wonder if they literally had to go in afterwards and slow it down because I also have never heard him speak that slow. And I've talked to him in real life. He genuinely just speaks that fast all the time, which kind of lends itself to rap. Just saying. It's just fantastic. I'm excited to see more comments come in because I know people are going to be pissed. I know that there's going to be memes made about it. I'm expecting that Ben is going to trend on Twitter, which is never a bad thing because all press <laughs> is good press in this world. Anyway, I hope you all laughed at it. In my opinion... This is an exceptional way to start the weekend. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye. All right, Britt. Anywho. Um, yeah, I love her reaction to it, y'all. Like, like I said, everybody, it seemed like everybody had the same reaction I did to it. And it's just crazy. Like, still right now at this moment, still crazy how big and massive the song really got y'all like the fact that it's still it's still trending y'all the song is still trending like it still has like i don't know what number it said i'm assuming i think it's still at number one i think but y'all the fact that it's even still in the trending like it, it's trending period like still and it's been like what three weeks now it's been like what a good three weeks now yeah, so it, it it's crazy, y'all. Like I'm, I tell you all the time how proud of Tom and Ben I am. Like, cause that that was insane. And then from what I'm getting from it too, also it seems as if like like Brett said, people on YouTube and TikTok and what was it TikTok, YouTube and like well just on social media in general for the most part everybody's having fun with it. But you just got like those select few. Those uh, political, very political people, and then like some older people in the rap industry who are actually genuinely mad and upset about it. So yeah, that's the only weird thing about it. It's like I, I, I just hate, I hate when people do weird stuff like that. Like the song is clearly just for fun, and it, like they were giving they like own opinions on stuff. No need to throw hate on them, you know. Like that, that's to me that's stupid. That that was done for like for. Especially that that I f I still forgot the dude's name. The dude that the one rapper OG who was talking about him, who's apparently been a rapper for a long time, and he got offended by the song. It's like, bro, shut up. But um, anywho, y'all, that's gonna do it, y'all. Like I said, Brit love love Brit's reaction to it. Um, shout out to her. If y'all want me to react to more of Brit, y'all let me know. Um, cause she, she it seems like she talks more about like you know. Gen Z stuff and like what goes on in like my generation. So that'd be cool to uh get into. But y'all let me know. But anywho, 
Yeah, y'all, that's going to do it, y'all. Um, yeah, y'all stay safe, die of trouble. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all next one. Now, bye. The influence all the times you told me beat it. Now you got to face the music. I'm saying.